Peter Cowan is at a distillery in Newfoundland for us. Um, maybe I shouldn't say a distillery. I should probably say the distillery, as in the only distillery. I know it's almost eight where you are, Peter, but surely a little early to be uh, drinking. <laughs> That's why, Heather, instead of actually having a drink in front of me, I've got a few of the ingredients that I've been busy <laughs> snacking on. Okay. Like this, like this seaweed, which you normally wouldn't think of when you think of an ingredient in alcohol, but this is one of the key ingredients for the seaweed gin uh, here at the Newfoundland Distillery. And as you mentioned, this is the first full dis distillery to open in the province in what the owners say is 100 years. Uh, we've basically always been importing our spirits, uh, and so this place is now actually making them. And their seaweed gin started as something they thought might be a little sideline when they opened uh, about two years ago. It's a novelty drink that a few people might enjoy, but they were wrong. It's really taken off and it's become their number one selling drink. And part of the reason, because they've wanted to source a lot of the products locally, like these local juniper here that I'll Mm. Oh, okay, that's being soaked in pure alcohol, so that's actually quite strong. But they took this seaweed gin to the San Francisco International Spirit Competition earlier this year, and they got a double gold, the only Canadian distillery to get one in the flavored gin category. And it's something they weren't expecting. This is the big competition. We'll send it in and give it a go. You know, hoping we might get a sort of bronze or something. And whilst we believe that our gins are fantastic and we should have won everything, you know, when we did, we were absolutely stunned and delighted. And um, we have heard that winning it's a bit like winning the Stanley Cup because it's the big spirit competition. So with their Stanley Cup, they've actually uh, been able to expand a little bit. They got an order from Nova Scotia, so they're starting to ship some of the gin there. And other provinces like PEI and New Brunswick have also said they're interested in starting to carry it. So we know how many people love to eat local. Obviously, drinking local is important, too. And for this company, uh, actually able to source all local ingredients. That's so interesting, Peter. That was one of their big priorities when they said, we want to open a Newfoundland distillery and actually distill here, was we want to make sure that we're using as much as we can locally, things like the seaweed and the juniper. But one of the most fundamental ingredients was actually one of the more difficult to come by. And that's the grain, because traditionally barley hasn't been grown here in Newfoundland. If you wanted to brew or distill, you had to import it from elsewhere. And they said, well, where's the fun in that? So what they did is they actually partnered with a provincial government program and uh, a farm on the west coast of Newfoundland for a sort of test facility to grow some barley. They tried it out. They really liked it. And so this farm has now actually been growing barley just for them so that they're able to produce a 100% Newfoundland spirit uh, and I asked the owners I said so the seaweed gin is it the novelty of the ingredients or is it the taste uh, and they insist of course it's a little of both but uh, you know they think one of the reasons that it has become so popular in this province at least is because people want to be able to drink something that comes from the same area where they're actually drinking it so Fantastic. You know, you think of Newfoundland synonymously with being screeched in, Peter. This is giving us a whole new appreciation, a whole new spirit, and a great story it is. Thank you very much. Peter there at Clark's Beach in Newfoundland at the distillery on the island.